Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. I'm going to just move this pound into Jita. But in the meantime, I wanted to talk to you guys about something, namely how it come, how my corporation game is working currently in Evil Line. So, uh, for you guys, or most of the people probably already know, I'm a part of the Brave Empire. Uh, the Brave Empire, uh, for you guys who don't know, is the corporation that is a part of the Brave Collective that does not own a single structure and this makes it so that they can operate in high sec without being war declared but they are blue to the entire brave collective and their allies so they can operate in brave space in null sec without like getting targeted because they show up as blue uh, so that's the corporation and i'm in now i've been in this corporation for a really long time been in here uh you can see here a long i think it's like five years go and check in the employment history see here 1500 days so, okay a little bit less than uh, five years but a long time uh it's the corporation i've been in the longest amount of time in my entire eve career now i'm actually considering to maybe leave the corporation and change another one not 100 percent about this but i'm thinking of maybe doing it and i'm thinking of maybe trying to join a smaller corporation that you know could have a little bit more uh perhaps like some just a small group to play with maybe you like socialize with you know this kind of stuff uh the reason is because for some people, this will sound very petty, but I'm not a particular fan of the Imperium and the Goonswarm people. And that's uh, the big uh, empire block that is going to then uh, be with, like, Brave. Brave is going to be a part of them. And this all stems back to a singular event that occurred a long time ago uh, when in my newbie days. Not super newbie days, but still relatively newbie days. Uh, and you'll notice why, why. Because I got scammed by people from Goonswarm. Where I was trying to join a, uh, a Goon Swarm Corporation, because I think, oh yeah, they're like a big alliance, it could be cool to work for them. And then they scammed me. This guy, he was from Goon Swarm, it's not some guy pretending to be Goon Swarm, he was from Goon Swarm. He said, oh, well, you need to pay this fee because we can't trust you. Uh, and then I paid the fee. He said, we'll pay you back later when you've uh, been trusted. And then he also said, oh, we'll move your stuff to Nullsec so they get everything ready. So I gave him all everything, everything I had. I gave him everything I had. So, mostly, he took all my money. I gave him everything I had to move him, and then I didn't even get an invite. Like, come on, man! You can at least, if you, if I give you everything, you can at least give me an invite. But I got scammed out of everything I had, <laughs> and I like now for me it sounds like obvious. For many people, it sounds obvious. But at the time, it's like, reasonable. You know, even line people, they need to be make sure people are serious. The big lines, you know. I d I didn't know any better, and then I found out later that actually it was a relatively uh, like big uh, thing so ever since then it get le the goon swarm has le left me uh, a pretty bad taste in my mouth now uh, i know probably a lot of you guys who watch my videos are from goon swarm and it's like nothing uh, against you but i'm just not uh, it's for me i'm not too keen on being a part of it because uh, i tried to like to tell them about this and they didn't, didn't care at all they just laughed at me i <laughs> used noob uh, so i really i didn't like that i don't like that feeling and that's why i'm thinking of maybe perhaps joining a different corporation maybe trying some new stuff as well but for now i'll remain in brave because i'm very comfortable in this corp i think people are very friendly in this corp uh, so i don't think that's necessarily a reason that i should leave but uh, it's, it's made me thinking recently about it and i have been discussing with other smaller corporations if there was if there's any possibilities i haven't really found any that's stuck yet but um it's something i'm thinking i'm also maybe considering to do some wormhole stuff but probably less likely uh, i know that wormhole stuff is very fun but it requires a lot of time and i feel like my real life situation doesn't really allow it too much that's why i've always been like in my evil line career just stuck to high sec you know undock do a few sites log back in undock just you know cruise around the station then come back in I, i'm not at all a super serious player the only serious part of my evil line gameplay is the grinding sometimes if i do get a lot of time I just do a lot of grinding but that's in very rare occasions nowadays especially compared to a few years ago i have a lot less time nowadays so I really think that this corporation suits me even better now than it even did before. Um, so that's what the stuff I wanted to talk to you guys about that, that has been occurring. I've been thinking about different corporations. Uh, and uh, since my, the Brave Empire has then uh, been become like a part of the Imperium then, because the Brave Collective becomes a part of the Imperium, it makes so that we are then moving in Nullsec. So uh, 
my previous Norsec base is going to be evacuated by now. And the thing is, um, it was just so much stuff there. Uh, I've already got so much stuff in high sec. And, you know, this might sound really weird to some people, but my time is worth a lot. My time is worth a lot. And my time is not worth to move the assets I had in Nullsec to the new area of space we had. It just simply was not worth my time. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I could have earned the ISK back some other ways. It's not stuff that is really super de dear to me. Uh, so I actually just gave it away to uh, some people I knew. Uh, so the Bane, the rattlesnakes you had in Nullsec, that's all gone. That's all gone. It's been uh, donated away. And I think it's got happier owners now. So just FYI, uh, if we do start to get a Nelsic, then we're going to buy new stuff. Not going to have the old stuff because that is gone now. And the reason is because I've just got so much is saved up now in EVE Online. And got the partner program providing quite a bit of stuff as well. And uh, uh, I just felt like my time is worth more than that. So that's why uh, I've discarded or donated all my stuff in uh, uh, in the Nelsic. So we'll see what will happen next in Nullsec and my corporation life. I'm very likely going to stay put in Brave, but there could be a possibility of me moving. And if I do move, it'll be probably a smaller corporation that is a bit more like tightly knit group. I think that could be fun because then you know each other a bit more. I feel like when you're in a really big corporation, then it's a little bit harder to know each other as well. Like in the comms, you've got like 50 people there. And it's hard to have uh, conversations when people are always talking about you know the new newt attacking and it's super serious yeah you know you know that you probably know what i mean uh, so i think that it could perhaps be better in a small corporation for like the socializing aspect but we'll see i still think people are very fun to talk to in the corp chat here so no problems when it comes to that in a way but i don't know if you guys have this same uh, dilemma that i'm having as well just the you know, not too big fan of goon swarm but also this like socializing dilemma as well what do you think let me know in the comments down below that's the least thoughts that have been on my mind the last week or so and uh, i've really i was considering to leave at once but then i think nah you know what, i'll stay here for a bit but i'm still searching still looking for options so it's still not set in stone what's going to be in the future but until then i'm going to be just enjoying my time in high sec and maybe occasionally going to low sec null sec and just do some small things here and there uh, I also am trying to develop a lot of these like Abyss fits, trying to get these Abyss series to go uh, the, for a new Abyss series in the future. So that's something that I've been doing quite a lot as well. So a little bit of video I want to discuss with you guys my update in my corporation life of you online. Uh, I hope you learned something from that or just uh, maybe you could relate to it a little bit. But I just wanted to give a little bit, you know, like an update here. So that's it. hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. I'm going to rest here for a little bit.